Yeah. Nigel Grizzly was one of the first men to build fast locomotives so that they could pull passenger coaches on high-speed mode in the early 20s and 30s. They were designed in Doncaster Works. A few of his former engines were Gordon, the Flying Scotsman, who was his brother, Express coming through, Spencer, and Mallard. Spencer's brother as well as Gordon's cousin. But as time passed, there were other fast engines around the world that were created by engineers as well, like Pip and Emma, who carried passengers to and fro London and Soda. And then there's Kenji, the Japanese Bolt. He was covering for James while he was having boiler issues. Ah, uh, when will I ever be out of here and on the rails again? Don't worry, my friend. As soon as the part arrives, you'll be good to go. Hope so because I just saw Kevin falling on his side with a crate. Ah, konnichiwa, Sodor! You said it, driver. As Kenji was heading down the line, he noticed an odd-looking engine. Coming his way! Look out! Hey? Oh, no! <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. I was... <gasps> An engine with an odd looking design? What are you doing on Todor? Oh well, I was asked to help out with passenger duties from an engine called James, so I hear. And I'm here to get a new propeller for the docks. Anyway, that's the bit you. Pleasure's all mine. Meanwhile. <laughs> oh, hello there, Hugo. Did you just meet that bullet who's copying your bloody color? Well, I wouldn't say, but yeah. Wow, I just talked to him, and he says that he's the fastest train in the world. The fastest train is in wood? But Thomas was told some expenses that I was the fastest. <laughs> he said that? Why, you really don't know when to not believe someone. Here. Take my advice. You shouldn't believe anybody's words. As Freddy says, stream engines will always be useful on my railway. Well, you know what? Someday, this whole area is going to be a shed full of monorails like Kenji to sleep in. And then we'll be scrapped together while those fasties go about with their own business without understanding our business. And Diesel pretended to sob at the very thought. I've seen it on my old railway, and I know the facts very well. How those blasted, speedy show-offs rub it in our face, remarking that we're useless and they're not. Some diesels have even gotten scrapped because of it. So tell me, buddy. Will you get those trains what they deserve? What are you talking about? I all to meet the engine, and he was very friendly. No, that hard. Huh? Like, ha! I'm going to beat you, that True. Bet you never know the secrets of someone. Now then, enjoy the rest of your day. If you can. <laughs> oh dear, could this day get any worse? Later, a rack of coaches was attracted by Thomas the Tank Engine. Wait, haven't I seen... <gasps> Kenji, it's you! Why, konnichiwa, Thomas. Good to see you again. Hi. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> konnichiwa. <laughs> you still remember, don't you? Hello. Oh, crud. I I'm sorry, Kenji, but I've got to go. Wait, what? Ugh. Why does that diesel always look down on those steam engines? I wouldn't be surprised if he was scrapped. I heard that! Whatever. Oh, hey there, Kenji. Um, hi. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to tell you something about Hugo. You see... The fastest train in the world? I'm surprised! So you should be. Because he loves to talk about it. Who knows? 
house. He could make you fall asleep. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Let the argument begin. Later on, Kenji arrived to drop off some passengers for a boat. Then, Hugo arrived to get a new winch. Oh, hey again. Hello. Then, Hugo asked Kenji if what the Black Diesel, named Diesel, who he had never met before, was true. Hey, I'm in a Black Diesel too. Anyways, continue. So after you left, he said we're the fastest train in the world, and that we're gonna find the Black Diesel and replace my you someday. But I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I thought so. Anyways, like I said, I also met a Black Diesel that told me that you were the fastest and loved to talk about it. But I don't. And I don't stop caring for people. Anyways, apart from that, we still don't know who the fastest is. Oh dear. This is so confusing. How do we solve this? I don't know. But I do. Huh? Oh, it's a bus. Who are you? I'm Bertie. I was just passing by when I noticed you guys had a situation, which I'm here to solve. So what do you suggest? Well, when you two are done with the work in the evening, you'll race from Napford all the way to Vickerstown on the other side of the island. That way, you can settle your problem. Sure. Sounds good. Glad you agreed with my suggestion. I have a bad feeling about this. That evening, the race was ready, but Hugo wasn't at the platform. Until... <sighs> Sorry, Blake. There was an issue at Wales left proper. Because of my proper, I will never leave never words like this. Nonsense. You'll do fine. Now let's race. Okay, then. Three... Two... One! Go! <laughs> I'm good with this like No you're not, I am. At first, the two engines were enjoying themselves, but the fun was soon over when Kenji started to pick up the pace and waste a bunch of his electric battery. Kenji, you fool! Slow down! You're going to crash! But Kenji didn't listen. He just kept racing along, hoping for victory. Until... Huh? I'm going slower. Oh, crud. <laughs> Hugo's the fastest day in the world. Now look what you've done. <sighs> Hugo, are you okay? Are you happy with yourselves racing at dangerous speed, running out of electricity, and giving France 100% injured? <sighs> well, it was really Diesel and Birdie that put you two into this. I'll have a talk with them soon. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. And he told them that Ryan would soon escort Judy and Jerome from Osborne to help them out soon. Oh, and while you're waiting for them, I want you to take this incident as a lesson to be careful of doing what people tell you to. Kenji, I'm sorry about everything that happened to us. Me too. We shouldn't have gotten ourselves into this mess. So, for now on, we'll make sure we never make the kids. Sounds good to me. Oh, and uh, when we go to the worst, can we start all over again? Should! Awesome! Awesome back! So we may not have won the race, but we did win something that is very important. Really? Well, go ahead. What is it? Our friendship. Aww. Hey, dude. We made it again, little brother. Oh, will you ever quit calling me that? And so, from then on, Hugo and Kenji never raced again. So even though they would soon be very far apart from each other, they knew that they would always have a good friendship in each other.